I'm Dr. Stephen Hodak, and in this review, we'll discuss how hypothyroidism is treated, as well as the frequent questions I get about whether hypothyroid patients require a special thyroid hormone called T3. If your thyroid is markedly underactive, you'll need thyroid hormone replacement. But for the majority of patients, all that is required is generic levothyroxine or one of the brand formulations. But for some patients, feeling healthy again and achieving normal thyroid hormone levels can be a bit more complicated. In those cases, the addition of a second hormone, known as T3, may be necessary. However, T3 replacement is not always straightforward, and it's always important to consult first with an expert about what choices are best for you. Thyroxine is the main thyroid hormone produced by the normal thyroid gland and levothyroxine is the synthetic form of this hormone used in most thyroid hormone preparations. Both forms of thyroxine are also known as T4 because each molecule of the hormone contains four iodine atoms. But T4 itself is not actually an active thyroid hormone. T4 is a prohormone, meaning that it has very little, if any, direct biologic activity. And in order for T4 to become active, it must first be converted to another thyroid hormone called T3. In general, this occurs naturally when T4 leaves the thyroid gland and moves throughout the tissues of the body, where enzymes known as diiodinases remove a specific iodine atom from T4, converting it to T3. Tissues that produce T3 use some of the T3 locally, but most is returned to the bloodstream so it can be circulated anywhere T3 is needed. Because conversion of T4 to T3 happens so naturally in the body, a large majority of patients, in fact 85 to 90 percent, only require T4 replacement to restore normal thyroid hormone levels and to feel well again. However, approximately 10 to 15 percent of those taking only T4 continue to have residual symptoms of hypothyroidism. Additionally, Recent scientific evidence suggests that a similar number of patients cannot achieve normal T3 levels and do not feel normal unless T3 is added. Additional data also suggests that patients on T3 supplements may find it easier to achieve goal weight and improve cholesterol. So why not give everyone who requires thyroid replacement a combination of both T3 and T4? Well, first of all, about half the patients who receive supplemental T3 either prefer T4 only or do not feel that the T3 provides any symptomatic benefit. Also, taking T3 is more complicated than taking T4. T4 can be taken once daily, which results in very stable thyroid hormone blood levels. T3, on the other hand, is significantly shorter acting. And unless T3 is taken in multiple daily doses, it will produce peak levels where too much T3 is present, followed by trough levels where an insufficient amount of T3 is available. This produces abnormal lab results and completely non-physiologic hormone levels. Finally, and perhaps a more important point, is that studies examining the long-term safety of T3 replacement are simply lacking. Since T3 very potently accelerates heart rate, increases bone metabolism, and speeds up all of the body's metabolic functions, there are legitimate concerns about whether and how T3 can be used safely long-term. Despite these concerns, for patients that remain symptomatic or continue to have abnormal labs on T4 only, adding T3 may still make sense. The key to success is ensuring that T3 is taken multiple times daily to avoid peaks and troughs, and also that the combined dose of T3 and T4 closely approximates the natural ratio of these hormones produced by a healthy normal thyroid gland. When T3 is correctly combined with T4, hormone levels can be kept normal, Symptoms can often be effectively treated, normal weight may be easier to maintain, and your cholesterol may improve. In these cases, when T3 is used correctly, the benefits very likely outweigh any theoretical risks. So is T3 replacement right for you? That is not always an easy question to answer. If your thyroid function tests are normal and you feel well on T4 only, the answer is probably no. For patients like you, there's not likely any benefit to adding an additional medication that is challenging to take correctly and for which we have less than ideal information about long-term safety. However, if you're on T4 only and remain symptomatic, 
or have persistently abnormal thyroid function tests, incorporating T3 into your treatment plan may be a very reasonable option. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to the T3 question, and there's no substitute for working with an experienced thyroid specialist. Before you consider starting T3, find a specialist who can help you further understand the issues we just covered, and make sure T3 replacement makes sense for you.